Have you ever wondered why the letter G holds a significant mystery in human sexuality? Welcome to a fascinating exploration of the intriguing world of the G-spot. The G-spot, named after the German gynecologist Ernst Grafenberg, who first proposed its existence in the mid-20th century, has been a subject of intrigue and debate for decades. Dr. Grafenberg's research suggested that this elusive area, located within the front wall of the vagina, could be a key to unlocking heightened sexual pleasure in women. However, even with such a scientific backing, the G-spot remains a mystery, shrouded in uncertainty and speculation. Why is the G-spot so mysterious, you may ask? Well, it's primarily because despite numerous studies and personal testimonies, the existence of the G-spot has not been universally accepted by the scientific community. Some researchers argue that there's no distinct anatomical structure that can be identified as the G-spot, while others insist that it's a very real and significant part of female sexual response. The G-spot is also a source of intrigue due to its elusive nature. Some women report experiencing intense pleasure when this area is stimulated, while others find it uncomfortable or feel nothing at all. This wide range of experiences further fuels the debate and mystery surrounding the G-spot. And let's not forget the cultural significance of the G-spot. In a society where female pleasure has often been overlooked or misunderstood, the idea of a magic button that can unlock intense pleasure is both alluring and empowering. The G-spot has thus become a symbol of female sexual liberation and self-discovery. So why was the G-spot named after Dr. Grafenberg? Well, it's a nod to his pioneering work in the field of sexual health. Despite the controversy and debate, his research laid the groundwork for a more nuanced understanding of female sexuality, and for that, he deserves recognition. Now that you're intrigued, let's unravel the mystery of the G-spot. From its role in female orgasm to the ongoing debate about its existence, we'll delve deep into this fascinating topic. So stay tuned and prepare to uncover the secrets of the enigmatic G. Diving into the depth of female sexuality, where does the infamous G-spot reside? An intriguing question that has been the subject of countless debates and research. The G-spot, named after the German gynecologist Ernst Grafenberg, who first proposed its existence in the 1950s, is said to be a small area within the vagina that, when stimulated, can lead to intense orgasms. So where is this enigmatic hotspot of pleasure hidden? Picture the internal structure of the female anatomy. The G-spot is typically located one to two inches into the vagina on the front wall. Imagine a small, sensitive area, much like the texture of a raspberry. That's your G-spot. But the G-spot isn't just a static point. It's more like a dynamic, responsive area that swells when a woman is aroused. It's a part of the larger clitoral network, which extends throughout the pelvic region. So in a way, the G-spot isn't an isolated entity it's interconnected with the rest of the female sexual anatomy. Now let's talk about the G-spot's claim to fame, its connection to powerful orgasms. When this area is stimulated, usually through pressure rather than gentle touch, it can lead to an intense, deep kind of orgasm that is different from the clitoral orgasm. Some women also report a warm sensation or the urge to urinate right before the G-spot orgasm, which is completely normal. However, it's important to note that not all women experience G-spot orgasms, and that's perfectly fine. Each woman's body is unique and responds to stimulation in different ways. The key to sexual pleasure is not about finding a universal magic button, but understanding and exploring one's own body. So, that's the secret behind the powerful female orgasm. But what about men? You might be surprised to know that men too have a G-spot. Or do they? The question of whether men have a G-spot has been a topic of debate for years. Some argue that the prostate gland serves as the male equivalent of the G-spot, while others dismiss the notion as a myth. The prostate gland, located just below the bladder and surrounding the urethra, plays an essential role in male sexual pleasure. It's responsible for producing a fluid that helps nourish and protect sperm. But more than that, it's also a hub of nerve endings, which, when stimulated, can lead to intense pleasure and even orgasm. Many men report that prostate stimulation can lead to some of the most powerful orgasms they've ever experienced. This has led to the prostate being dubbed the P-spot, a nod to its parallel with the female G-spot. 
On the other hand, some argue that the concept of a male G-spot is a myth. They point out that unlike the female G-spot, the prostate isn't located within the vaginal canal. Instead, it's found externally, meaning that it doesn't fit the traditional definition of a G-spot. Critics also note that not all men enjoy prostate stimulation, and some even find it uncomfortable. This has led to the argument that the male G-spot isn't a universal phenomenon, but rather a subjective experience that varies from person to person. So what's the final verdict? Well, it's complicated. While the prostate may not fit the traditional definition of a G-spot, it's clear that for many men, it plays a critical role in sexual pleasure. Perhaps the concept of a male G-spot is less about pinpointing a specific location and more about understanding the complexity of male sexual pleasure. So we see that the G-spot isn't exclusive to women, but is it always easy to find? Finding the elusive G-spot can often feel like searching for a needle in a haystack. Why is it so? Well, the exploration of pleasure is a complex journey and the G-spot is just one stop along the way. It's a sensitive area of the vaginal wall that, when stimulated, can lead to powerful orgasms. But locating it isn't always a straightforward task, and here's why. Firstly, the G-spot isn't a distinct, separate part of your anatomy. It's part of the clitoral network. This means that it doesn't have a specific location that's the same for everyone. For some, it might be a couple of inches inside the vagina, for others, it might be a bit deeper. Secondly, its size and sensitivity can vary greatly between individuals. Just like how some people are more ticklish than others, some people might have a more sensitive G-spot. This means that it might be easier for some to locate and stimulate their G-spot than it is for others. What adds to the challenge is that the G-spot doesn't function like a button that instantly provides pleasure when pressed. It needs to be aroused and stimulated in the right way, which can be different for everyone. Some might prefer a gentle touch, others might require more pressure. And here's the kicker. Not everyone might experience pleasure from G-spot stimulation. That's right. For some, it might just feel like another part of the body. For others, it might even be uncomfortable. So, if you've been on a quest to find your G-spot and haven't had much luck, don't worry it doesn't mean you're missing out on a world of pleasure. There are many paths to sexual satisfaction, and the G-spot is just one of them. Remember, everyone's body is different, and what works for one person might not work for another. The key to unlocking your pleasure potential is understanding your own body and what feels good to you. The G-spot is a tricky one, isn't it? But don't lose hope because there's more to the story. If the G-spot is so elusive, then how else can one maximize sexual pleasure? Well, it's important to remember that the G-spot, while tantalizing, is not the be-all and end-all of sexual satisfaction. Yes, it's a hot topic, a conversation starter, and a source of curiosity, but it is not the only route to orgasm. Let's step beyond the G-spot for a moment and delve into the vast, complex, and deeply personal world of sexual pleasure. Our bodies are intricate and full of uncharted territories, each with their unique potential for pleasure. The key to unlocking these potentials lies in exploration, understanding, and communication. Exploration is about trying new things, discovering new sensations, and pushing boundaries in a safe, consensual environment. This can be through different positions, toys, or even just spending more time on foreplay. Understanding is knowing your body, its likes and dislikes, its sensitivities and its triggers. Remember, every body is different, and what works for one may not necessarily work for another. So, take the time to understand your body, its responses, and its desires. And lastly, communication. This is perhaps the most crucial aspect of all. Good, open and honest communication fosters trust, intimacy and mutual respect. It allows you to express your desires, your boundaries, and your needs openly with your partner. So, you see, focusing solely on the G-spot can limit the scope of sexual pleasure. There's a whole world out there, beyond the G-spot, waiting to be explored and enjoyed. And who knows? You might just stumble upon your own unique pleasure points and experience orgasms in ways you never thought possible. So, while the G-spot holds its allure, Remember, it's just one piece of the grand puzzle of human sexuality. Explore, understand, and most importantly, enjoy. If you found this video informative, do subscribe, like, and comment on our channel. Stay curious, stay educated.